Magic is the mindless or the miscreative use of mind. Physical medications are forms of spells, in quotes. But if you are afraid to use the mind to heal, you should not attempt to do so. The very fact that you are afraid makes your mind vulnerable to miscreation. You are therefore likely to misunderstand any healing that might occur. And because egocentrically, the fear usually occurs together, you may be unable to accept the real source for the capital S of the healing. Under these conditions, it's safer for you to rely temporarily on physical healing devices because you cannot misperceive them as your own creations. As long as your sense of vulnerability persists, you should not attempt to perform miracles. So I wanted to just talk about that one a little bit because it's very important. Until you know yourself at one, until you've done this, that's why the healed healer in this is so important and why the title of the talk, your healed self and the nature of perfect health. When you're aligned with your healed self, the perfect self, then, then you're not going to feel afraid of any of the things that are out there. You just don't because you know you're going to be told where to go and what to do. But if you find that you're not entirely aligned with the healed self, then what, what Jesus is saying here essentially is, you know, even though physical medications may be forms of, in quote, spells, if they promote less fear in you and you feel as though you're more connected to love by letting yourself be, you know, as human as you have to be, the whole thing is a return to love. So the more loving you are to yourself at any time, the less you resonate with promoting fear, the more you're walking yourself back to that state of oneness. So be aware that this is never about saying, oh, you know, I should be further along than this. That's not loving. I, I am wrong because I'm doing this. That's not loving. When you sit back in that space where you're connected to yourself, the divinity of you is going to tell you what to do specifically that's most aligned with healing for you. It's never going to make you stretch outside of your comfort zone in any way that promotes fear. That's how you'll know it's the divinity of you. And that's how you'll also know when a healer is, is truly aligned with the divinity of them. If someone were to even have something like these doctors that Bernie Siegel was talking about in the article that kind of promote fear in their diagnosis, if they were aligned with their true self, you can say really anything, it's not going to feel fearful because you'll know how to present it to somebody that this is being given to you in a way that it feels healing in itself. Someone who's afraid of an illness themselves is going to deliver worst case scenarios riding on their own fear. So I would highly suggest, this is one thing that I know from being someone who's more in the realm of healing quite often in my life, is that if ever someone approaches anything with fear, that's not the healer for me. <laughs> that's not the person that I'm going to go down that path. If they at all can even be able to see the world of fear as formidable or important or real enough, then they're not aligned enough with, the, with being in a state of grace. Again, that's not something that Jesus would ever do. He just says right here, look, if, if you have to take the pill and that makes you feel as though that's the thing that's going to make you healthier and it's delivered to you with a guy who's so smiley and happy and here, this is perfect. This worked for all my patients. Well, then that's love. That's your symbol of love. You're dreaming a dream. Dream that the people who come to you that are more aligned with themselves are the loving ones, and then choose the voice of love. And then you'll know that that's, it's the same thing as when you're treating a child in a conscious and aware way, they're going to know you love them because you might be saying, put that down and, and they'll know when you're being loving because you're delivering it with love. So definitely pay attention before you make any major decisions ever that are going to be putting yours in the hands of anyone else that's a has a, a capacity to be a healer.